Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. I wanted to talk about hormonal weight gain today and really some of the things behind weight gain, why women have such a hard time losing weight. Women seem to struggle and when they're trying to follow the right tactics, trying to follow the right things, they're like, what is happening? What is going on? And I gotta tell you, it is because the female body responds totally different than the male body to all these things. I mean, how many of you have gone on a diet with your significant other, with your male counterpart, right? And um, you're doing everything correct, right? You are following it to a T and he's like sort of doing it. Yet all of a sudden he weighs himself. He's like, look babe, I lost 10 pounds. And you're like, what? How? You keep drinking beer and eating pizza. You just like cut out two beers. Come on. Ugh. My joke is like guys can sneeze and fart and drop five pounds because it's true because it happens on the daily for them, right? Women, not so much. Why? Because women have different hormones in their body. Women have to deal with different things week to week, throughout the month, all the time. Oh, come on, right? So I'm gonna talk about and dive into some of these reasons why women have issues and the hormonal weight gain and why that happens, right? A lot of times you get frustrated because you're like, I'm trying all these things, I'm doing all these things. What the ever-loving heck is happening? that I can't get rid of this, right? So I'm gonna talk about why that is. In my book, The Female Fat Solution, I do talk about you know different tactics, how to eat for your hormones, for your cycle. You have a different body each week of the month, so you can use your nutrition to match that, to match that along the way. So each week, you're matching with what's going on you know, hormonally, chemically, physiologically with your own system, aligning to leverage your hormones so that everything functions a heck of a lot better and easier. Yes. So that's my book, The Female Fat Solution. It's on Amazon. Um, I have a podcast, The Female Health Solution. We go through a ton of information there as well. And then I have a 12-week program where I take women through this process in detail. We talk about the struggles that you're having specifically. Each program is tailored and tweaked for each person because each gal is going through something different, right? What one gal struggles with is not the same as the other gal. Somebody may have hormonal and thyroid issues, whereas somebody else, it might be hormonal and gallbladder issues. It's going to be a little bit different to really see and feel the best results for you. So I'm gonna put a link below this video. If you guys have questions on anything hormonally related, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, I'm more than happy to answer your questions. And if you're looking at really solving your issue, there is the 12 week program I literally built for women. I built it for women to have the best success with their bodies, with their health and their results going forward. So, hi Jody. <laughs> um, so I'll put that link below. You guys can schedule a call and we can go from there. But when we talk about hormonal weight gain and why a lot of women seem baffled because they're like, I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand where the disconnect is. I don't feel like this is my body. I got this tire right around my midsection. No matter what I do, it won't go away. I'm on the treadmill. I'm eating super clean. I mean, is it really that one, you know, that brownie that I had, you know, a week and a half ago that's really keeping this on? And I'm like, no, like you should be able to have normal foods unless you're like trying to be on a magazine cover, right? which most gals aren't. They're just trying to like be their healthiest selves and live their best life and their best body. That's <laughs> so having a brownie sometimes is part of that, right? Right? Anybody else feeling me on that? Um, but it's really baffling when you're like, I, I feel like I'm starting over all the time or I feel like what I'm doing isn't making a dent. I mean, ma making sure that you're getting all the right nutrients for your system, all that stuff is one thing. But a lot of times when we talk about hormones specifically, one of the big issues is hormones being built up in your system. And this was something that I actually struggled with. This led to the PCOS that I had suffered from for a year and a half. I, I had horrific ovarian cysts that burst. They would put me on the floor so painful and it was going through this process to really help clear those out clear out that excess hormone in my system that started me on the right path so really what we're looking at is a backlog of excess hormone being built up in your system and i'm going to show you this um right now jody i'm eating half of a brownie right now <laughs> yeah jody get it girl that's right um so when we look at a backlog of excess hormone, why is that? Why does that happen? Why does that? Um, why is that a thing for the body? And there's there's a lot of different schools of thought here when people talk about detoxes, cleanses, or all these other things. Oh, your body should detox itself. Your body does detox itself. That's what its liver is for. Blah 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 blah. Right? Of course. Right? If you're living in a really low stress, non toxic environment completely, and you don't have any hormonal issues, 
okay, good for you then, right? That's super duper. But for the rest of us <laughs> that live in a regular world that have stress, that we're just around, you know, like I live in Minneapolis, like there's chemicals and things that you just become in contact with, right? Your body has to process and deal with that. And then um, I've had four pregnancies. I've got three kids. Um, I had C-sections, right? I had cysts after that. There's, you know, I was on birth control when I was, before I had kids. Lots of things, right, that hormones get built up in your system, and my body just didn't flush it out right away, right? So that's where I had, oh, cysts, right? Your liver is in charge of metabolizing and getting rid of all that excess hormone. And I just call it getting backlogged. It just gets, you know, there's like a bottleneck there. It's a lot for your liver to do. It is. It's processing stress hormones so that I'm through that in there. There's a whole separate one because stress is a whole nother game. As us women know, stress is a whole, whole nother game that you get to deal with, right? Like we all know that if you have stress, it can mess up your period, right? We all know that. But that can also add to then the weight gain that you're having and keep you from losing weight because of the metabolic effect it has in your system. But along with other, your other hormones, estrogen, progesterone, things like that, when you have an excess of one or the other or there's an imbalance there, it affects the fat cells themselves, and it's really specific to fat cells right around your midsection. You feel like you get this tire, it won't come down no matter what, and you're like, I don't understand, I'm eating super clean, I'm working out a ton, and I gotta be honest, that's great, but it's not enough. You gotta work with your body. You have to use different tactics to force your system to use those fat cells for energy. Otherwise, it literally will not. Physiologically, that is how the human body works. You can't make it work different. You know, it just, it just is. So knowing that there's different steps you can take forward then to get the right result using the right tactics. So here's what fat cells, right? Okay, I'm not an artist, but this is a visual just to kind of explain how this works. Fat cells in the body, they look like little discs, right? They're, you're, you have the same number of fat cells now as you were when you were say seven or eight. You don't get more or less. Like when you gain and lose weight, it's not like you get more cells. Those cells just increase in size. They, I, I think of it like a balloon. Like this is a flat deflated balloon and these are this is a blown up balloon with stuff inside, right? It's got stuff inside here. Okay. Now that's when there's, there's energy, sugars, things like that get stuck inside the cells. Now you want the cells to be flat and deflated balloons, little flat pancakes. That is, you know, means that your body's not holding on to a lot of that excess fat. When, they, when it is holding on to excess, we'll, we'll call it energy, the fat cell then blows up, where it gets really tough when you have excess hormone in your system, it's your body's protective mechanism that it will take that excess hormone, so we're talking estrogen, progesterone, whatever it is, stress, all these other things, and it actually stores it in these fat cells, and then surround, look at, I'm such a good artist, isn't this pretty? One time I was doing this and somebody was like, it looks like a boob. And I was like, I know, I'm so sorry. It's not, <laughs> it's not, it's a fat cell. Clearly, <laughs> duh, <laughs> of course, that's what you were thinking, I know it. But what happens is that when you get these excess hormones just kind of in your system, having that around, it causes a lot of issues. It causes things like ovarian cysts. It can disrupt your normal body's function. So your body's protective mechanism is take some of it and case it in a fat cell so it's not just floating around in your bloodstream, banging into stuff, causing other issues. It takes care of it for you. It's saying, you're welcome. I'm holding onto this in a fat cell and I'm gonna keep it there forever and ever and ever because to release it and have my, my body, have your body deal with it is a lot to go through. It's a lot to go through because to release that, your system then has to process it through. Your liver has to metabolize that and push it out of your system. There's different phases of detoxification from your body, and it takes a lot of energy to do that. And if you already have a hormonal imbalance, if you already have excess stress, right? So this is true for this and for this. If you already have excess stress and everything, how, how, are, how are you going to do that? Your body's not going to want to do that. It's going to say, no, thank you. I'll just uh, keep it close and snugly and warm and just hold on to it forever. That's going to be easier. Your body is really efficient. Your body takes, honestly, the easiest weight out of everything all the time. All the time. You've heard things like you don't ever go to the gym and do the same workout every day, right? You don't want to go to the gym and just get on the treadmill or get on the stair stepper every day because your body becomes efficient and doesn't burn as many calories. Your body is efficient in everything that it does. It down-regulates everything. You have to change up your nutrition tactics because your body will become 
acclimated to it and not burn as many calories and not increase, right? Not increase your metabolism. That's why when I work with women in my 12 week program, it works so well because we go through so many different tactics throughout the month that really leverage hormones in a different way to force your metabolism to work for you. And it's the same thing here. You have to force your body to do these different physiological processes to move forward. So when we're looking at this, your body has to release release the energy from this fat cell here. And we do that through some specific processes to help it go back to, to help it go from this back to this. It can. It's not an easy process. <laughs> Sounds like my son, he takes the easiest way out too. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, you know, your body can go back from these big round, like blown up balloons of fat cells to smaller flat pancakes. It absolutely can. It can, it just takes a lot of energy and it's not, you know, it's tougher for the body to do. So if you have too much stress, if you're not eating properly, if your system isn't fueled to do this, it, your body won't want to do it. It just won't. So that's why it's important that you're guiding your system through the proper way. Now, another thing to really look at, this is a big word, gluconeogenesis. Uh, one of the main things I talk to women about is getting enough protein. A lot of times I do recommend women get a protein shake or bar at least throughout the day to help fill the gaps in the protein that you're not getting. Can you do it through whole food? Absolutely, you totally can. I've done it through whole food. Is that easy to maintain long term when you are a busy mom of three and run your business and all these other things? No, no. If you have time to spend half the day in the kitchen meal prepping all that stuff, good for you. If you don't <laughs> and you still need to get the quick you know, quick and convenient, not easy, but convenient, but healthy, super dense nutrients that your system needs, then yes, filling the gaps with something is really helpful. Because without the right numbers of proteins, your body also doesn't have the fuel to do this process. You can try this all day long, you can try certain tactics with intermittent fasting, all that stuff. But if you don't have enough protein, it will not work for your system the way you want it to. It just can't. So getting enough protein helps because when your body's under stress, when your body's under stress, one of the things that happens is it takes some of the proteins that you're eating and it goes through gluconeogenesis, which means that it takes some protein and converts it into sugar. And then that sugar gets stored in a fat cell for you. What? Come on, right? And you want this. You want this, you know, this is the, you're like, well, I'm working out. My body's going to burn this fat. No, it won't. No, it won't. Not if you're under stress. Not if you have hormonal backlog. Not if you have these issues. It will not use this fat cell for energy. It will use your muscle tissue instead. It will start breaking down that muscle fiber. So if you're working out at the gym and you're like, well, maybe I'm stronger, but I still feel like I've got this layer of fat on me. Yeah, because your body is not going to allow it to burn that fat. That's really, really, really how it gets broken down. It just won't, it won't burn that fat. It will not do it. It will target your muscle tissue instead. And with a, if you're not getting enough proteins in, or even if you are trying to get proteins in, but you're not really hitting the mark your body needs, because your body's taking some of the proteins, and that can be dietary proteins, and it can take the proteins from the muscle. Those are either one, either or. Does, it's not picky. Converts it into sugars and stores it in your fat cells. What? Again. It's trying to be the most helpful for you. That might not be what you want, but that's what, it's, that's what it's doing. So this is why women gain weight. This is why you have fat cells that respond like this. This is why you get stuck. This is why you're, you're frustrated, right? It's not because you're not reading enough labels. It's not because you're not counting the calories correctly. Calories have nothing to do with it. Your system is struggling because you're not eating in alignment with what your body really needs and what's really happening. Every body goes through something different. Every person, you know, and this is different in phasic throughout your life as well. What your body needs at 25 is different than what it needs at 35 and at 45 and 55. And the fact that people are not talking enough about this drives me crazy. The female body especially. What your body needs versus week one versus week four, completely different things. And if you're not addressing those body needs throughout the month, you're really missing out on the right nutrition for your system, which causes stress. And we all know where that goes. <laughs> hmm. So, so solutions for this. 
Solutions are for this are to get enough protein. Solutions for this are to use tactics that actually boost your metabolism for the female body and to really eat in alignment with your hormones and leverage your hormones to boost your metabolism. Otherwise, it's just going to stay there. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. I kind of went through a lot of info. Again, I'll put that link below this video so you can schedule a call with me if you've got questions. But this is really, really important for women to understand. So if you know somebody that's been struggling, if, if you find that you, know, you come across somebody that could use this information, please share it with them because it's my mission just to educate women on things that they can do to take charge of their health, how they can eat for their bodies, and not be stuck and frustrated with where they're at because there's always something that you can do to make a change to get towards the results that you want. All right, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Have a great night, and I will see you later.